This is the Red All Over Show, whole preview, part two, because, you know, we just thought we'd uh, keep it short and sweet. We've got silent Alex, who's not so silent. We've got Andy and, and Al. Uh, first thing I want to know, before we talk about it, real quick, our steps, Al, you only talked about it all day. You enjoy it, pal. Oh, it was a tragedy. Tra- tragedy. Sorry, I can't speak it out. Get my teeth in. It was a tragedy. How many pints have you had? I thought you were still on your fist in. Joe's bought me five. I've got to get a taxi back home. <laughs> the taxi driver's just gone. Put that on record. You not bought me one though. Look at this. Empty, empty. Of course it is. So he put so many photos, didn't he? He sent us so many photos. He's sixty-seven year old and he's sending us photos of steps. I have no words. It's it really is a tragedy. And it's not them, it's a tragedy. But you know, there's no fool like an old Look, fool and he's I'll old. drop it in. I met H. People wanted to know oh. if I'd met H. So there oh. you go. Red all over fans. It's a lie, I didn't. But you wanted me to say, I met H. I have no idea who that is. Anyway, uh, this is the show. Hit like, subscribe oh. to the channel, Red all over. Let's talk about uh. football. So, have we hit a turning point now? And Andy, is great escape on? As we go well, it's home. possible, isn't it? We're not, we're not far behind, you know. We, it's, it's a big match against Hull and then, you know, the international break and then we're... <laughs> Oh, good. We're away to Fulham, who just hammered, <laughs> hammered Blackburn in Blackburn 7 0. Yeah, sorry, sorry to Ryan our friends at Ryan. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan and Silent Dan. But that's what they did. So that's, yeah. uh, we could do a winning on Saturday, <laughs> couldn't we? It, it, there's still plenty of games left. Of course, of course we can. I, th- I think we've given ourselves the start, haven't we? And, it, and, it, and it's shown. It's not just that we've managed to win a game, it's that we've managed to win a game without Marcus Schott being there, and you can see the difference, so that's good. So it's on to Hull, and there'll be some scores to settle against Hull. They've got some players that um, that used to play for us there, you know. Got a few players. Malik Wilkes. Malik Wilkes coming back. Let's let's hope he's as lazy as he was when he played for us. But I rated him. I was devastated because I thought when we when we got him from Donny, I thought I thought he was the one. I thought he could make a huge huge difference. And he's got all the skill in the world. But it didn't work out for whatever reason. I'm saying lazy. I don't know. It's just how it looked. George Monker didn't play for him last night. I don't know where he was. But I always rated George and all. But again, can he last a full match? Can he get on pitch in first place? And then of course we've got. Um, Ex Loney Callum Elder at left back, who I didn't particularly rate as, as it happens, but you know, he's, he's forging a decent career for himself, so might have some scores to settle, might not, might give us a few gifts, who knows. Yeah, I was going to say, we're not doing opposition view because we're doing the show from Oaks today, as you can tell. Oaks working man's club in Ardsley. Uh, we've not had time to do the opposition view and we found it a bit tricky to get a Hull fan. So we'll make sure we get a Hull fan on for those Hull fans watching for the reverse fixture so you get a bit more of a say. If, it, but... if it's any help, I lived in, I went to university. I, know. I lived in Hull for four years. I used to go and watch them. I used to go. I used to go watch. You know, when I went coming home to watch Barnes, I used to used to go to Bulvery Crescent and then I used to live right near where their current ground is. So literally about 200 yards from it years ago or young so I, I can take a whole fan's perspective we're rubbish this season <laughs> rubbish <laughs> we get you an old shirt that's a whole that's a whole perspective rubbish <laughs> well stood in well, before Derby you could have said you could have basically done that review for both teams Derby oh we're rubbish <laughs> Peterborough rubbish we're rubbish well is that what, uh, what I heard about Derby that he let uh, 10 tumble down Ted's <laughs> oh, didn't they didn't they? It weren't just the one, were it, that Ben Fern, so called, said he said it was just what what's John his Lawrence. name? John Lawrence, isn't it? Well, Lottenham. They're all going down. Referee bought it, but you know what can you do? Rubbish referee. It's what they <laughs> when I were young, I know you've got to get I know you to move on, Joe. When I were young, when Paul I was we won't be happy with the length of this show. Well, you know. When <laughs> I were in my teens and went with my dad and his mate Morris and R. Howard, we were always sat in West Stand. Not at the minute, but we were sat in West Stand. And from somewhere over there, don't, just once a game, never knew who it was. And it went on for about five or six seasons. No idea what it was. We just heard one voice, once a match, scream out, you rubbish referee. No, I, it didn't bear any resemblance to what we're up pitch. I just think he thought, oh, 50 minutes, you rubbish referee. I never, never knew who it was, so Can I just I'm just paying homage lads? to your rubbish. I used to call him Mr. Rubbish Referee. I know you're going to about me going to see Steps. Is it more man moments just in a minute now than whatever I did Steps constant and Andy Simcox? Oh, Good grief. Al, what do we think to all uh, as a 
as a challenge, um, yeah, if that's the right a word. Challenge, isn't it? We've got X Red, uh, their coach Grant McCann coming back, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Grant's a good one, and Grant were a good player. I like Grant mm. McCann when he played mm. for us. Uh, they lost one nil to uh, West Brom, didn't they? Uh, I think a 67 minute goal uh, last night. So uh, it's not going to be easy. Uh, they've got George Honeyman as well up from George Denver. and our Ray uh, team when they were uh, and, and he's, he's a good player so uh, I think they set up 4-3-2-1 so they like to looking at that he likes to s- midfield ta- have a tight midfield. midfield he likes it no, no he does don't he to, to, <laughs> a tight midfield yeah that's a tight midfield tight midfield <laughs> oh what's I put in this I don't know <laughs> anyway carry on uh, you're not driving home are you <laughs> Uh, I've got a taxi booked. Anyway, <laughs> stop it! No, it would. You've thrown me now. I'd stop it. No, it, it's going to be. T- it's going to be hard. But the quality of what we've got on our side now, and 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 the belief what last night gave us, I think we'll just go out and play his own game. Not worry about uh, old city at all. Uh, he'll set up tactically right. Uh, Joe Loman and Lowman. Lowman, 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 whatever. You'll say Lowman, as a Lowman. And, Lowman and, and the fans will be behind them, and that's all we need. And as I say, if we get 110%, win, lose, or draw, Barnsley fans will love our football club. And that's what we're looking forward to on Saturday. Yeah, definitely, mate. Remember, Reds, hit the like and subscribe button and get your predictions in because we are about midway through our prediction competition. So what we're going to do now is put it on the screen. Because, Andy, you've updated it, haven't you? You updated it. I hope you did, because I've, I've told them now that we put it on screen, so it's up to date. As soon as I get home, I will. <laughs> Andy will have done it, so it'll be on screen right now once we've edited this later. That means that this show's going on a few hours and it long, longer later than it should have done. Um, so that is the uh, the scoreboard at the minute. Who, who's near the top? Not you. <laughs> I'll tell you that much for nothing. But well, Wayne Housen's well at the top for the, uh, the, the again the, the, for, for the general for the season long competition. Oh, season. But there's uh, there's some good contenders, including Wayne. For the uh, you know this this twelve match competition, uh, Jordan J Rob six he's uh, he, he's doing well, and I will be able to tell you later on because it's down. I've just not sent it yet. All right, okay. Get excuses in early. Uh, so there you go, Reds. You'll have seen it on screen because we'll have updated it by the point of putting this out. Um, yeah, so usual thing. Three points if you get the correct scoreline. One point if you get win, draw, or loss. A note if you get it wrong. Uh, and the prizes are a Barnsley shirt with red all over on the back, and you get to sit in the box with us mm-hmm. if we're all available or at least some of us for the West Brom game which is now a Friday night it, it is the 17th of December live on Sky thank you to Smart Door Solutions our business supporter who have kindly donated that prize so you can check out their stuff Smart Door Solutions I'll tell you one thing about, about the predictions the last the, the last number of predictions before last night were all predicting Barnsley defeats record numbers a Barnsley defeats like I think I think forty one <laughs> the the previous match forty one that we were going to lose um, for last night's match we had I, I can't remember about sixty six sixty seven sixty eight predictions somewhere around that um, one for a defeat just one one wow. and get in <laughs> two one Andy two one me and nineteen others got the right prediction. Yeah. Can I just the say right prediction. Some of y'all lot give me for being happy clapper, but there yeah, as soon as bumming shop goes, you're all on my club again, isn't it? Happy cl- happy clapper app- application oh, forms are that what, bit, what bit, bit. I'm not I need another one. Yeah. <laughs> right, predictions. Let's do it for Barnsley versus all what we reckon. Another win? Back to back. Well, I think as as Al said we've got and I've said we've got players you know, players coming back they've got a point to prove, so I think it's gonna be really difficult. So I'm not that confident about this. I think uh, I think we go get an egg on our faces with this match, you know, because I think George will, will put a shift in. Tom Eves always rated him. Honeyman, I think he might get a couple of goals because he, he he moves about and he's hard to pick up. So, sadly, I think we're going to win two one. <laughs> right, are not you? Go on, Alex. Silence, Alex, as you know now. I'll say one nil. We've got to stay positive. I mean, it's hard to not stay positive at the moment after yesterday. So, uh, I'll say one nil, Barnsley. That's what. It's not so silent, to be fair. It's not really working this thing, name. Do you want to go on me? Have you, do you want to finish your pint? You want to finish your pint? I'll, I'll go then. I said on Sunday, and this was before Marcus shot were getting sacked, so I don't know what happened with that, that we'd win next two. We've won one out at two. We're winning again. I'm going for 4-1 to Barnsley. Again. 
it's happening. <laughs> Turning into my younger brother. You don't want to competition, do you? You're not bothered, are you? No, Andy. not bothered. Need a lot record stuck yet again with Mr. Beardsall. 2-0, we're going to have a clean sheet, 2-0 to town. Can I just say something, though? Do you know when I predicted 4-1 on the last one-foot derby game, the amount of fans sat around me when we were 2-1 up and looked like we were still attacking, we were like, he might be right, you know, he might win. I mean, I know but, it was 2-1 at sure, end, but... Sure, you've, got to make, you've got to decide the difference between somebody agreeing with you and people humouring you. They were just <laughs> humouring you. So, well done, Tom Webster, you've humoured him. <laughs> I love how you just knew it was Tom. <laughs> Don't humour him, it's not, it's not a good look. Anyway, there you go. Uh, uh, right, Reds, Come we'll, on. we'll finish it there. Come on, you Reds. Come uh, on, Joe you Lyman's Reds. Red Army. Cheers, Cheers. Al. Cheers. 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 There's no left because these two never buy me a pie. to be waiting years for it. to be waiting years. Um, if you want to join our supporters club, it is uh, Red All Over Supporters Club. All you got to do is patreon.com forward slash Red All Over. We'd love your support uh, since we're buying a new camera, so we're currently a bit skinned, but we really appreciate all the support that we've got. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. You Reds, we're going to win. Reds. We're going to win. Come yeah. on, you Reds. Yeah. Woo! That's what we like. Like positivity. I mean, we've lost this crowd at this point because we've talked for so long. Sorry, Paul. Yeah. You Reds. <laughs> <laughs>